In the last grant round uh, with Transport Heritage, we were absolutely thrilled to receive 25,000 towards the restoration of 3016. We're going to use that funding to have the boiler uh, inspected so we understand the condition of the boiler, which is a really important first step in that project. The grants have helped by allowing us to go and source the expertise, the materials and the tools that we need that we don't possess currently here. 3016 is a very long term project, so in the longer term, and I might be talking five years here, we could get it to the point that it can operate and it can haul heritage carriages. For little places like ours don't necessarily have the resources to kickstart a project like this. This particular grant is going to enable us to just progress the whole restoration a lot more quickly and we're very grateful for it. The museum in its archives has a large range of 16mm films that were donated over the years. Unfortunately, over time, because of the chemicals in the film, it progressively begins to deteriorate and that's how you end up with something called Vinegar Syndrome, where the film just disintegrates. What this grant allows us to do is to pay for a professional film preservationist to digitise these films so that they, they can be preserved in a digital format and it allows people to see examples of the development of not just the Sydney tramways, but of the museum itself. This is the biggest project that I've taken on. It'll probably take about two months to complete. The scanner is a sprocketless scanner. It has a laser which detects the perforation. So each time a perforation is detected, the camera grabs that frame and transmits it to the computer, which builds the sequence, which we can make into a video file. One of the really exciting parts about working on a project like this is seeing the reactions of people when you get the film online. It's always a joy seeing comments from people that may have been there, and it just builds a really good community engagement. I feel really privileged to be brought onto this project to preserve this slice of time that everyone should be able to enjoy. The last Heritage Grant a couple of years ago was um, the, the book that I've written called Farewell State Transit and um, that's almost sold out so we thought that the next book, Picture Book, which uh, is what we're working on now. We've played around with digging out photos of the Public Transport Commission era. Well, it's hard to, to say what the, the situation would be without the Transport Heritage Grant. It certainly is a help in running the, these organisations. The grant program benefits a lot of people who have a transport interest. It starts with little kids coming here on that first or third Sunday and seeing a bus that they want to ride in and have some fun and good memories of. This is the birthplace of the 10 class locomotives. They were specifically built over 100 years ago to haul coal on the South Maitland railway line here at Maitland. There's essentially two components to the restoration that we have to restore, repair and reset the springs. The second project relates to the axles, the boiler and some other works. This project's special because these locomotives are unique. They're the only two remaining fully intact steam locomotives of their class. It's 106 years old this year and still running and hopefully we'll run far better once we're fixed up. The Transport Heritage New South Wales grants are extremely important to us in this project. Uh, without those grants, one, we'd probably never have started, and secondly, and most importantly, we'd probably not complete the project. The reason these trains are so special is that they are unique and it's important to preserve them so that the community can enjoy them and see them in operation. The whole idea behind this project is that it's open to and used by the general public. Hopefully it'll be available for Steamfest 2024.